Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to import pre-made objects into Anime Studio. One of the benefits for Anime Studio, if you're a beginner, is the ability to import objects into your documents that are already pre-made. We kind of saw this concept with the character wizard. We were able to go in and create characters very easily with a few clicks of the button and import them onto our project. Well, with the preset objects that Anime Studio has, it's pretty much the same concept, except now you can import audio files, scenery, objects, and a whole lot more. So to get started, let's create a new document or open up an existing one and then go to File, Import, and at the top here you have all sorts of categories, 3D, audio, characters, effects, images, and so on. You can import any of these into your project. So let's say for instance you're just new to Anime Studio and you want to create a scene, but you really don't know how. You could go down to Scenes, go to Backgrounds, and choose any of these scenes. For instance, we could choose Forest 1. And just like that, we now have a forest scene for our cartoon. Now the benefit to this is not only do you have a scene pre-made and ready to go, you can also go over here to your layers properties and adjust the layers if you so choose. For instance, let's say you want to change the color of the trees. Well, you could click on the trees layer, come over here to your select shape tool and click on one of the trees and then just adjust your fill color to some other color. We could choose orange. I don't know why you would choose orange specifically, but just as an example. And this also allows you too to see how scenes can be constructed. And from here you can use this template to build your own scenes and to construct your own objects. So with something like this, you could create a scene. And then if you have Anime Studio Pro 8, you can go over to the character wizard and you could just randomize out a character and click OK and bring the character now into your scene. So as you can see, within a matter of seconds, really, we could create a scene and import a character. And from here, we could import some more stuff. Like we could come down here to our props and go to scenery, and we could bring in a boulder for this scene and just plop it right here. And we can continue to do this with all sorts of pre-made props and scenes. I could bring in a tree for instance, although it doesn't really fit with the other trees. You get the idea. Now one more thing that's worth pointing out when it comes to importing objects is that you can also import characters, which I'm sure you saw in my menu here. Now this is different than the character wizard in that you're importing preset characters that you can't like adjust the parameters for, for instance, you know, the color, color of the clothing or the length of the arms and so on. They also don't come equipped with preset animations. However, if we just look here and bring one in, you do have the option to insert either the front, back, side, or additional views, depending on what you want to do. And this also depends on the character itself as well. Some characters may not have all the views to them, but we can import the front view. And as you can see, the character is all ready to go as far as doing an armature animation. The skeleton is already in place. You have a bone layer for this character. So right off the bat then, you could just start animating this character however you see fit. So that is a benefit, even though you know you don't have the preset animations and stuff in place, you can still import preset characters and animate them and adjust them however you see fit, which again will help you, like the props, when it comes to constructing drawings in Anime Studio. It should help you see how things are made and then from there allow you to create your own works. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful and I'll see